everybody, my name is Steve Lanza, and I am the Vinyls Area Sales Manager for George Fisher for the Northeast Region. The territory is Maine and Maryland. And thank you for having me. I appreciate the opportunity to talk about our vinyls. It's probably only, uh, it's only 28 slides, but we'll look at some sample valves. I'll go a little slow. The first one I kind of blew through, I apologize. It just gives you kind of an overview of George Fisher piping systems. We manufacture piping systems out of thermoplastics for all types of different applications. We also manufacture measurement and control, instrumentation, automation, the valves. We uh, also design our own uh, joining technology machines, fittings and pipe. Anything thermoplastic. Some of our locations, Easton being the closest, Atlanta, Little Rock, Copal, Irvine is our corporate headquarters in the U.S., and then Bakersfield on the West Coast. That's the old hardball plant as well as Easton, and I think actually Copal used to be, yeah, Cop Copal was the other hardball pipe uh, manufacturing facility. Um, the company is actually owned by, I don't want to say the mother company, the, the main company is in Sheffhausen, Switzerland. We're the American division out of California. Resource center. We have an online resource center where you can find information. You can get product information. You can check all types of things. Let's go into it a little bit. Through distributed toolbox, it's a new component in the resource center where you're able to check inventory, stock availability, standard package quantities. You can do a product search. You can get list pricing. You can check your discounts. You can also do export material lists availability to excel if you were going to place a large order. Um, purchase order lookup, purchase order confirmation, tracking information, and confirmed shipping dates. And or is that password, for, like do we need passwords and stuff Yeah, like we that? have to get you set up so you can sign up for that. And okay. Right now I don't even know if I have any vinyls uh, discounts in the system for you guys right now because okay. I think you're buying your CPVC. You buy our CPVC, but you buy it through somebody else because you don't need okay. to stock a lot of it at one Does time. Does Bob have access to that, Mr. Staub? Do you know? I'm not sure. Okay. But I can find out. I mean, he should. It'd be That's nice. what I was thinking. We might be accessing it through him. I was Maybe. Just Perhaps. So we're just going to go over kind of vinyl offering, which is PVC and CPVC. We start with PVC industrial pipe, or even the nose, the gray pipe. <clears throat> we have a special blend that Harvell created, the H707 blend. Color options are white, dark gray, and then we can do customs. Believe it or not, we do a fair amount of black PVC for certain people. Um, we could do red, green, whatever, if the quantity clicked would be minimum quantities. It'd be a special one. Uh, operating temperatures 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 F. Pressure rating varies by pipe size and temperature. And we're manufacturing PVC, if I'm correct, in 1 8 inch through 24 inch. Applications would be chemical processing, potable water, irrigation, water and wastewater treatment, agricultural, corrosive fluid transport. Give you an idea on the sizing. Let's get 40, 1 8 through 24. Let's get 80, 1 8 through 24. Let's get 120 is half through 8. And then in the SBR, 13 and a half, 21, 26, and 41, 3 quarters through 24 inch. And those are your maximum water pressure ratings for the different SDR. CPVC. We manufacture our CPVC with Corzan, which actually makes it, it's a stronger product if it has Corzan resin in it. We only were doing the pipe, but we are in the process of switching over completely to Corzan for all of our fittings, and we're going to be doing some of the valves as well. The first valve to be done is going to be the 375 which is your everyday ball valve. It's one of the most common, but at least we'd be able to offer a full system in Corzan. A lot of our valves, that's made in Italy, believe it or not, by one of our sister companies, but the 546, the top of the line, 543s, these are actually made over in Switzerland. Clear PVC, very common. <laughs> Get 40, quarter through 12, get 80, quarter through 6. Same operating temperature as standard PVC. Fitting offering up to 8 inch. 
And typically we saw a lot of this, believe it or not, for sight glasses, lab use, food processing, visual leak detection. A lot of people also use it for double contained piping. They'll get a four inch clear PVC pipe, you know, pull like an HDP tube through it. That way they have visual confirmation if it's leaking or having a problem. I've seen guys put flexible tie down tubing in it, you name it. It's an affordable option for double contained piping. A viral king, this is a specialty product. It's typically used where people are growing algae for biofuels, um, some specialty chemical, nutraceutical. I don't even see it that often in nutraceutical, honestly. Site glasses are common, again, but you could use the regular standard CPC. I mean, uh, PVC clear. But it's to grow the algae. You can see the algae growing in there, and they use it to actually make a biofuel. It's very common now. Flowguard Gold. Copper two size plumbing pipe, CPVC made with Corzan, solvent molded, half through two, and that is a SDR 11 product. Pressure rating 400 psi and ambient, and at 180 drops to 100 psi. Typically used in hold, oh, excuse me, hot and cold water distribution for apartments, condos, single and multifamily homes, and a lot of hotels and motels. PVC corrosion resistant duct, six inch through 24 inch. Again, same temperature resist range, which the 32 to 140. Performs well with aggressive environments. You see this a lot with chemicals on uh, vents and duct. Excellent chemical resistance, lightweight, ease of fabrication, long system service life, and lower overall install cost. It's very easy to use, it's very lightweight. You can glue it together or weld it together. The most common methods. CPVC, same thing. This is Corzan. Corrosion resistant duct. Sizes are 6 through 24. Temperature is now goes up to 200 L. This is CPVC. Same chemical resistance. Different joining options would be belt end, gasketed end, threaded end, and rolled groove is pretty common. We have a system approach to product lines, stocking fittings of valves. Well, we actually do that now <laughs> in Easton. And then we do a lot of custom extrusions. That's actually a big one for us. Custom sizes, lengths, colors. A lot of times guys just want, I'll lift the pipe and they're like, I don't want any writing on it. I want it to look pretty. All our pipe comes completely wrapped. It's wrapped in the shop before it even gets put on the shelf. Totally sealed, clean thus free. Shapes product line, PVC, CPVC machining shapes. Option will be solid rod, hollow bar, hexadonal bar, square bar, rectangular bar, and angle. We saw a lot of this and actually believe it or not this is a really good margin product line. So if you have anybody you know that does CPVC or PVC machining, you might want to go talk to them. Um, right now on solid rod, I think we're going up to 10 inch diameter. And as I said, it's, there's a lot of it out there and it's a real good margin. Some of your color options, the most typical being gray, white. The third I would say would be black and then clear. I haven't sold any red pipe or green pipe to anybody. Hmm. Manual valves, quick overview on to some of the valves. 546, top of the line, two way ball valve. Available in CPVC and PVC, 3 inch to 4 inch. This valve, as you can see in the picture, is available manual or electrically or pneumatically actuated. Another <coughs> nice feature with this valve is you can actually take the handle off, you can put a limit switch pack on it, then put the handle back on, and now you have a manual valve, but you have a signal coming back that it's either the open or close, and if it's not one or the other, it's somewhere stuck in between. On a manual valve. It's available in all the different options PVC, CPVC, Polypro, Pigmented Poly, and PDF. NSF 61 options would be a control ball. If you're doing any actuated intricate control of flows, you're going to pass that around. You can see how that's cut. Gives you much better control with a ball valve because typically this is an open and closed valve. <coughs> Modular design allows hundreds of material and accessory combinations, buttress thread, build a little seat, blow out proof stem. That's a big one. 
component traceability, flush out proof vacuum seal, choice of end socket, threaded, flange, or spigot, and it has the integrated inserts for mounting, which a lot of those do not. So it's pretty just a good system. Okay. Another nice thing with both of them, all those, the 375 and 546, is you can take those valves, tear them down in the field in a matter of seconds using just that like a handle, the turning handle. You would pop it off, flip it around, take the union end off. You can take that valve completely apart just to the cartridge in probably 30 seconds. Replace anything that needed to be replaced, put it right back together, tighten it a little bit with the handle, put the handle back on your business. That's a real nice design. If you guys want to see that, I can show you that in a moment. That's the 375 I already passed around. Again, everyday bread and butter valve. Compact length, again, we sell a lot of this to people that build skid systems, chemical feed skid systems, because of the smaller design. Wild proof stem, fully serviceable and adjustable seat carrier. Double stem seals, floating ball design. Available in PVC and CPVC. These cannot be actuated, they are manual only. Sizes, half inch through four. And you can also get a six inch in PVC, which is then carried from a four inch where you can get CPVC half through two. I think we're going to be going half to four shortly once we switch to the Corzan, but it hasn't been the 543, it's a three-way 546. PVC and CPVC three inch through two inch. It's available in horizontal or vertical. You can get an L port, a key port, or a diverter port. As you can put a locking handle, you can do the switch limit switch kick kit, excuse me, on this as well, or you can do a 90 degree stop. Your seals are typically on all of these valves in PVC, it's EPDM or Viton, and the seat is always PTF Teflon. These can be actuated pneumatically and electric. One thing I recommend to people is to just be careful if you order these, especially if actuated or manual, you have to be careful. There's so many different options with the different balls we use and vertical or T-port, L-port, it gets really confusing. And it's real easy to get it wrong and the customer would not be happy when he receives it. You know, because then, especially if it's actuated, we have to send it back to the West Coast, redo it, to send it back to the guy. So we have a chart, if you're ever doing three way valves, just ask for the different flow pattern chart because that shows it and it's shaded, it's real simple. And you're like, you can show it to the guy which one you need. That's the one I need. And then we'll make sure we get it right. But there's like, I think, 18 options. So it's easily confused. This is actually our newest valve, 514 diaphragm valve. Available in CPVC, PVC, half through two. This is a great control valve. Material options, you can also get it in Polypro, Natural Polypro, PDF, and ABS. Seals, you have more options naturally because you have a diaphragm in here. Straight EBDM, Viton, Teflon Line Viton, or Teflon Line EPDM, or Nitro. You can put a switch kit in here as well. So you have your open, closed, or somewhere in between. It cannot be electrically actuated. It can be pneumatically actuated. So air actuated only on this valve. The key thing with this, honestly, since the redesign, our CB values are double our competition, anybody. So if you needed a two inch diaphragm valve from whoever, you could get it done with a one inch from George Fisher. Save the customer a heck of a lot of money. Has a built in lockable handle, simply, and it's got the rising stems indicator so you can see where you're at when you're opening and closing it, if you'd like to try it. And you see, it's simple enough to change the diaphragm in the field. You remove the handle, you get a strap wrench, you back that off, just loosen it up, and it lifts right out. Drop the new one in, make sure your tab's aligned right here, material tab, tighten her back up, and you're in business. It's a great valve. 
butterfly valves. 567, and that's supposed to be 578. <clears throat> 224 on the wafer style, which is the 567. And 2 through 12 on the 578, which is a lug style. I did not bring a lug style with me. I apologize. Materials are PVC, CPVC, pigmented polypropylene, or PVDF. Pressure rated is PN10, bidirectional, that's 150 psi. Shaft is typically stainless, unless you upgrade it. Seals are EPDM or Viton. Modular design allows special seal materials. We could actually do something if you needed something crazy. But. Um, out of body on all of these valves are made with glass reinforced polypro. As you can see, basically all we're doing is the cartridges is what changes. <laughs> this would be where the limit switch would go. Beautiful thing about this valve as well, being we don't have that big mortar glue that the wafer has to kind of break to open and close. You see how easy that is for a good one. Our torque requirement is half of everybody else's in the industry. So that means we can use much smaller actuators, more actuated electrically or pneumatically. So again, more compact, save the customer a little bit of money. The Aqua Butterfly, very common in water parks, very common in uh, big water plants for the treatment, wastewater. This one was made for water, period. It's just a PVC, 2 through 12, EPDM. Python is not available. And it's compatible with dancing and dim flanges. And the lockable lever, you do five to five degree increments. Maximum temperature is 122. And this can be actuated. I didn't know we actually did. <coughs> Quality control. That's a big thing with George Fisher and any manufacturer, as it should be. They do a lot of different testing. That's what this little book here is. It kind of shows you the crush testing and that. We blow things, they blow things up in there. I'd actually like to work there for a week or two. Looks like a lot of fun. Performance to ASTM standards is routinely confirmed via ongoing destructive testing. GF products consistently exceed industry standards for strength and durability as defined by ASTM and other standard organizations and approval agencies. Flattening resistance is a big one. Drop impact, fire performance, hydrostatic burst. Unannounced plan inspections and audits are routinely conducted by various independent agencies <coughs> in compliance with the recognized standards. I'm sure we've all seen these names before. Thank you. Now we'll address some questions. Any questions? No questions. <laughs> I'm getting off easy. You're not point. on any kind of watch list or anything, are you? You were a little excited about going to that destruction. No, that's a guy thing. Oh, okay. We like to blow stuff up. <laughs> I just don't want to work there for a week or two. Do you yeah, hate to blow things up. Do you just make uh, the containment piping already together? Or do you yeah. Just, or do you yeah, actually, and I have I have a sample in a car, but that was just another trap yeah. case to lug in. I didn't know if you'd have any interest. Our double contained vinyl piping system is called Double C. It hasn't made it into the slides yet, I apologize, um, but um, I could give you some information, I can even show it to you, I have it in my car. Okay. So, um, it's available in... <coughs> in right, so I some people only have just the... Ones, I, I call them the coupling, whatever the... The round, the, the center, whatever... The part that holds it, whatever the... Is that what it's called? That's what centralizes the, your carrier pipe right. within your container. And there are companies that sell them to people, and you can buy the pipe and kind well, of that's what I meant. I didn't when you get to the fittings, it. it gets a little trickier. Yeah. Hey, I sold the system to this guy. Just so you know my background, I've only been with GF about a year. I was actually hired to be the instrumentation and automation ASM, which I did for six months. And then Gary Bushell, <laughs> my predecessor in vinyls, decided at our sales meeting, I don't want to do this anymore. 27 years is enough, and God bless him. So my manager asked me to slide over into vinyls. So anyway. Where was I going with this? Mm -hmm. I lost my train of thought. Containment pipe. My apologies. Fittings. Yeah, so I saw, I was a distributor guy. I worked for a company very similar to this for years, typically George Fisher. And I had this engineer who was doing a project, I think in West Virginia. 
and he was just really frugal. And he wanted double contained piping, but he didn't want to pay the price. So what he did is he ended up buying pipe, the two size pipe from my competition. At the time it was FWF. And I said, well, how are you going to centralize it and everything? You have to keep it. He used two by fours, lots of wood. So what he was doing was he put the two inch pipe inside the four inch pipe. And then he would have guys like, they would stick like little blocks of wood in there to centralize it. It's kind of scary. <laughs> And uh, that's not how you do it. I mean, they're not going to expand and contract correctly out in the field. And it was for aggressive chemicals. And I was just like, he came back to me, I guess, probably a couple months later. And he's like, oh, I got another portion on that job I need to do. And I just told him, I'm not interested in calling my competitor. I said, I'm not, I'm not selling anything. Unless you buy the complete engineering system, I don't want anything to do with it. I don't need that liability. <clears throat> Neither does my employer. So you got to be careful. But we have a real nice system. Very simple, you can get PVC by PVC, CPVC by PVC, um, PVC or a CPVC with a clear PVC, so you can you have visual confirmation. Yeah, there's all different things we can do. One thing about that, just so you know, that's typically fabricated, I think, in Little Rock, and sometimes out in Irvine, sometimes there's a little bit of lead time. Questions? No questions about my lovely vials. <laughs> what was that stuff that you said? You, what was that stuff that you said you add to the pipe? Would make it stronger? Corset. Corset. What is that? It's actually in the resin. It's special. It's a special formula, formulization of the resin that we buy from a company called Lubrizol, and it's called Corzan. <clears throat> and they actually developed it many years ago, and it, it is a lot stronger than a standard CPVC pipe. Of the same construction and right. thickness and everything else, so it doesn't even make it any more chemical resistance. It's just good for strength and impact. But it is a step up. It's the best you can get to see things. What is CPVC stronger than PVC? Nope. The walls thicker or anything? Pretty much the same. I mean, with the Corzan, it would have a leg up on the standard PVC because that's not Corzan. A little bit temperature difference same chemical resistance. So it's just temperature basically. And the other thing is that it's 2050 rated so you can use it. The Corzan, you can put it in annual areas and it won't burn, it self extinguishes. So it's a 2550 year plenum rated where PVC you can't do that. It would catch fire and burn. That's why we make like Blaze Master, which I don't know why it's, this is the one my boss gave me, I apologize. Blaze Master wasn't in here. Blaze Master, you guys probably sell Blaze Master now. It's the orange pipe for fire sprinkler. That's Corzan. It's just an orange pipe made out of Corzan. And they can use that because, and they put it in annual areas between floors and everything because it won't burn. You still sell a lot of that? Yep. 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 Fogard Gold's really big right now with all the hotels. You see all the hotels going up everywhere? I mean, it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. And they're all switching over to Blaze Master for fire control and the uh, copper tube size, Fogard Gold, for the uh, hot and cold water. A really good market to be in right now. There's tons of them. Think about it. Dorms, the only place they're not really, like we can't use them up in Massachusetts in any building over four stories high. So we're kind of limited to four stories. But there's plenty of dorms and apartments and different things like that, different housing, public housing, and they use them. Get away from copper. Why is it limited to uh, only four stories? I don't know. We're actually fighting that right now in Boston. I really don't. It's a, it's a code restriction, and we can't get around it, and we're trying to battle with them to get them to change it. But instead of using the, the copper tube size, which is an SDR pipe, we want to do it with Corzan Skid 80. Because typically, they'll use our Corzan Schedule 80 as their riser pipes, where they need 6-inch. That pipe's only made half to tip, so you can't use it. So you have to go to a different product. So a lot of times they'll use our... CPVC 80 for the risers, which could be 6 inch, 8 inch, depending on how big the building is. And then they basically adapt down and go copper tube right to the, you know, to the sinks and the toilets and everything else. But that's, that's a good, that's a good line right now. I don't know if it's real good out here, but I know in Maryland it's popping, up in Mass it's popping. I was in upstate New York uh, earlier last week. There's just so many hotels and buildings going up. It's really, it's big right now. You do fire protection, or you just you said you don't anymore. You used to work. Yeah, we don't. 
You don't? Not much. Mm -hmm. okay. I think they'd want to make a code there for a while. We were looking at it a little bit. The Blade Master, the it's been code and then they rescinded it, I think. Yeah, I think it's going to be like yeah. 15 there. I think you're that. right. There's going to be a code, you know, every new building went in for the sprinkler system and stuff, and then it kind of went away. away from it, yeah. So we had a lot of interest there for a while because everyone thought it was going to be law, and then mm -hmm. it kind of went away. So hmm. Interesting. Maybe it's making a comeback because yeah. there's, there's a lot of it going on right now. And your competitors, who do you who do you guys compete with? On? Everything when you're when you're balled out. The only other company that makes Corzan in CPVC80 complete system like us is um, Ipex. So one Corzan product, CPVC. That's my only competitor. Everybody else just makes CPVC. They do not have the Corzan resin. Um, for PVC, I compete against everybody pretty much. <laughs> you name it. You know, Charlotte, JM Eagle, everyone. A lot of competition. Munder, I know he's always selling pipe around here, down in the, this area, and everybody. Yeah, there's a lot of competition with vinyls right now. It's, it's tough out there. For those who have never been, seen a plant where they're, they're making this stuff, can you talk a little bit about what the resins look like? So, how you get from resin to you know, typically a lot process? of them are yeah a lot of them are actually they're blended in house so we have special blends that we do and they do it they keep the pellets typically in big Gaylord boxes that have like a plastic bag in them so typically it's a powder or a pellet very fine small pellets and they actually blend them in silos which actually feed into the extrusion machines if you have an extrusion machine actually you guys are welcome any of these ever want to go see the eastern plant Six acres on the roof. It's amazing. I've never seen anything. I was blown away when I went to that plant. Watching them extrude all the different pipes. I mean, they're doing, I think when I was there, I walked in and they were doing just like inch and a quarter, which is nothing, right? White, belled one end. And she's like, boom, 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 coming out of the machine. And then the guy takes me around the corner and they're running 24 inch PVC 80. And it's, I couldn't tell if it was moving. I'm like, how long does it take to make a stick of that stuff? It's like hours. It goes so slow, oh and it comes out liquid. It's it's just absolutely amazing. Yeah. So it goes from a pellet format <clears throat> they melt to it down. they melt it so it's heated. They put it in an injection molder, which has a dye in it, which has your inner and outer right your tolerances, and they force it through it. at a certain particular speed. The slower you go, the better the quality. The quicker you go, the less of the quality. So if you really need to push some pipe, you can speed it up a little bit and your quality won't be as good. It won't look as good. Tolerances won't be as sound. It'll still be fine, but yeah. really neat. But we have open door policy. If you have just All you have to do is let me know. Some of you people want to go up there, just let me know. If I can, I'll meet here, take you out to lunch. If not, I'll have so many lined up, a manager or somebody to give you a tour, plant tour. It's awesome. And that would give you a chance to see the inventory we have now on the valves and the fittings as well. <coughs> complete system. You make your own actuators? Or is that something They're else? They're made in Switzerland. <coughs> yep. But it's... Yep. No, those are our actuators. Now, we will sell you the valves if you wanted to do something bare shaft and do your own thing, customize and put somebody else's actuator on it. That's fine, too. And we offer it as an option. I would say if you can do it, do it yourself. It would get done a heck of a lot faster because that's done in Irvine. So they would bring the valves over for them, right? And then you would send them the actuators. And look, you'd better off if you can do it, do it yourself. If not, we could do it. You know, we could put anybody's actuator on our valves, actually. And they don't have any smaller places, the biggest place where that is <coughs> Easton. I mean, what's your shipping bill then? Yeah, day? Easton. Easton is my local, my local inventory for pipe. In vinyl, you know, any vinyl piping or rod again or hollow bar, hex, anything that's all there. That's all we used to. Do your ball valves, the smaller ones, come like most people's words. Like after two, it comes threaded end socket ends? Yep, you have okay. to pick. Okay. Like you have to pick? Yeah, I think a lot of people, they have to pick. Up to two, up to two you get both. Okay. okay. After two, you have to tell us what you do. And you have like the square operating nuts and all that if someone's putting it on? We do have square operating nuts, yes. Okay. 
I don't want to throw that off once in a while. Yeah, we even have a little stem extension thing. I, I think it's kind of corny, but I have sold so many people. I usually don't show it to anybody because everyone's just like, who cares? <laughs> For the ball valves, we have this, we have like a kit where you can put this on top. You can just put get 40 PVC in here, or however long you right. want. Put this on top, pop your hand, take the handle off, pop it on this, and you get a stem extension. I have some guys that put them in like a, a meter pit or something and they want to extend it. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so it's doable. I think it's not that often, but just one I don't see it that often. You yeah. know where I see stem extensions more than anything? On the butterfly valves. Yeah. You'll see it on landfills a lot. You know, that's what we see it typically. But. Not with a lot of end users, excuse me. Any other questions? Oh, forgot to mention. We have two programs. I also don't have the literature on our PRV, our pressure relief valve, I apologize. We have a program on the PRV valve, and we have a program on the lug style 578 butterfly valve. You sell them, you send, fill out a form, how many you sold, what size they were, send it into Irvine, they send you 33 bucks for each one to you, the salesperson. Mm -hmm. Not to the company, <laughs> not to your boss, to you. Dad was going, ka-ching, ka-ching. <laughs> 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 It's called the 33 program. It's probably on our website somewhere, but there's just a form you have to fill out. If anybody needs one, reach out for me, let me know, and I'll be happy to email the forms over to you. We did get that from somebody. I don't know if it was just outside, but I remember seeing it. You did? An email about it, yeah. Did you? I wasn't sure. I asked the group earlier if you guys were on like the mailing list. Do you get the announcements? I, I, did you have any I don't idea? Know if it went to just outside guys and I got it that way, or if it. That might be. Gary might have brought it in and showed it to Gary Bushell. My email, predecessor. I got an email from someone about my sure was here or there. Or yeah, Gary was at the. Yeah. I thought someone here. Yeah, I think. Where, where was he? Where was he? You guys met him at the AD meeting, I think. Yeah. Field 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 right? Yes. I said, so where were there. you that you don't remember? Well, I couldn't <laughs> think of the guy's name. I wasn't sure if it was Gary. That's what I was getting. Yeah, it's a good guy. It's good thing I said next to you. I keep your phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? No. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate the time and the opportunity to come in and talk to you about our products. Thank you. And if you think of anything, please, you all have my cards. Feel free. Email me. Give me a buzz. I'd be happy to help out. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, guys. The George Fisher Harvell Engineering and Installation Guide. This thing, there is so much good information in here. Hanger distance, how to do expansion loops, you name it. I mean, pressure, chemical resistance, everything. Even the hollow rod, oh, everything's in here. Fittings, installation, how to glue correctly to cement, solvent cement. This is available on my website in PDF. So I'm going to send it, I think, to Bob. I told him I would send it to him, and he could share it with some of the outside guys. Great information, because we ran out. And actually, we're, this is really good for your dimensions. This will show you your lay lengths. If I can find a fitting that has it. Do you have anything with a light line here? No, it's got 40 to do. So it gives you your minimum, it gives you all the dimensions, the height, the wall thickness, and then on the fittings it shows center lines and everything else. So that's also available on the website. We're like almost out of both of these. I think what they're doing is they're going to combine them. So if I do get new ones, I'll set a, you know, set a case down to you guys. So you have them. But there's a lot of great information there, really good information. I'll leave those just so you have one each right now. Don't grab it. Thank you again.